at home, you know. <laughs> I get called a lot of names because I develop a lot of recipes. I particularly call myself the concoction mistress. Well, let's see what I have for you today. <laughs> Hang on with me. Hello. I'm a Braxton Evelyn, the beauty food chick. Welcome to my channel, a place where you find a lot of tips and tricks for food and beauty. Today on the Duty for Chick, come along and I'll show you how I made this tamarind pasta. You will need pasta, of course, tamarind juice, for some tanginess fish flakes, dry fish in particular. You will also be needing oil. Any oil of your choice is fine. Parsley for garnish and fresh herbs, pepper, garlic, and tomatoes. Not much seasoning, just salt and seasoning cube. And that is it. For some crunch, I added some of my nuts you can use pistachio or any nuts of your choice let's go right into the recipe so you want to start by boiling your pasta now i did half and half half quantity of water and half quantity of the tamarind juice now bring that to a boil add salt to it and introduce your pasta if you do not want Italians to be angry at you please do not break their pasta just drop your pasta and wait patiently it will slip in eventually so you want to boil this for like four to five minutes then while that is cooking I brought in my pepper, my garlic, and my tomatoes in the food processor. I do not want a smooth paste. I want a rough paste. So I run this through my food processor briefly like so. And my pasta is cooked and ready. Not fully cooked. Slightly cooked what the Italians would call al dente. So I save that pasta water for a reason. Into my pan, I bring in my oil, about two tablespoons of oil. To that, I brought in my tomato garlic pepper paste. Fry that for like two minutes. Brought in my dry pepper, uh, dry fish flakes stir that for about two minutes then remember that pasta water we saved that water included the tamarind juice bring that into the mix and allow it to boil or cook for like say another three to four minutes and it's time to introduce the rest of the seasoning your seasoning cube and if you like please add salt to this mix but if you're comfortable with the salt that you boiled your pasta in then skip this part allow this to cook like so until there's like a slurry now you are ready to introduce your pasta but before then I wanted a little I wanted it a little bit runny so I added more of my tamarind juice and oh my god guys this pasta was so tasty it had that tangy lovely taste to it bring your pasta in and allow it to cook for like two minutes and you're ready guys thank you so much you're still here trust me this is a recipe you want to try right away please do not forget to like the video 
leave me a comment or two about what you thought of this recipe and if you are going to be trying it please share if you can do not forget your parsley basically for freshness and for garnish and serve this in your plate and enjoy it do not forget to add your pistachio and melon seeds just for the crunch that it will give to this and enjoy this lovely tamarind pasta dish thank you so much guys i love you Mwah. bye